tu, 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 tu. Most with us being stuck here on this desert island? Uh, lots of things to eat. You're so mm, right. Mm, mm. Ah, but now that you've got all these pots and pans from the shipwreck, you can cook for me, huh? Dream on, Gus. <laughs> I carried these here so that I can cook for me, not for you. Ah, knock, knock. Who's there? Spook. Spook who? Spooketty bolognese. Yummy. <laughs> yep, you can start with that for my lunch. No way, Gus. If you want spaghetti, you can cook spaghetti. Ah, one fair two snails. Ah, Rebecca, 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 Mr. Rebecca. Mr. Squiggle, what's ah, up? Ah, 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 ah. It's a squiggle time. Squiggle time. Come on, squiggle Blackboard, time. help! Squiggle quick. time. Ha <laughs> ha! It's way past squiggle time. It sure is. So it is. Always so way it past. Is. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Squiggle. Yes. Are you calm? Are you ready for this, Squiggle? Oh, I'm more than ready, Rebecca. It comes from Andrew McRae, who lives in Waniassa in the ACT. How's that? Oh, I'm exhausted now. <laughs> oh, so am I, Rebecca. And now I've got to guess what this Squiggle is. Ah, that would be easy for you, Rebecca. Oh, I don't know about that. Can anyone see what it is? Of course they can. I think I need some help with this one. Ah, Rebecca needs lots and lots of help. <laughs> I do. Is it a... Probably. Um, is it... Oh, is it a duck? Uh, no, Rebecca. Oh, is it a pelican? Uh, no, Rebecca. Oh, it's something with feathers, isn't it? <laughs> it's a chicken. Oh! Cooking oh. a popcorn and caterpillar pancake. Oh, Mr <laughs> Squiggle, what a strange thing to eat. I think I'll put that one away. That's for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> for breakfast? I hate to think what it's lunch is. It's squiggle time, it's squiggle it time, sure is. squiggle time. <laughs> Mr Squiggle, you're exhausting me. Oh, exhausting. Now, this squiggle comes from Elisa Hall, who lives in Thornley in Western Australia. Well, it's almost finished. Is it? Yep. What's that wild and woolly thing in the middle? Ah, uh, it's a fur coat. Oh. It's a chicken, cold chicken with fur coat. <laughs> oh, it's all woolly and lovely. I've changed my mind. Oh. Changed well, my mind. That didn't take long. Uh -huh. Um, What is it now? Oh, you'll never guess, Rebecca. Is it something with ears? Uh, I think you're right, Rebecca. Oh, Mr Squiggle. Yes? Are they whiskers? Whiskers. Must be a cat. It's a cat. It's a cat wearing a spaghetti wig, which oh. she is going to eat for lunch. Upside down. Upside oh, so down. she's carrying her lunch around on her head. And then she eats it, you see. Oh, that's a, a good idea. We should all try carrying our lunch around <laughs> on our head. <laughs> yes, oh. it's gone to her head. <laughs> all right, Hurry Mr. Up. Squiggle. Oh, that was blackboard. blackboard. Now, this squiggle comes from two tricky people. Ah. It comes from Ashley and James Finch, who live, two. In, in, live in Noraville in New South Wales. Double trouble. Double, doubly tricky. It is, Rebecca. Um... Oh. Yes? I'm not quite sure what this could be. You don't like it? Oh, I love it, Mr Squiggle. I just can't quite work it out yet. Oh, I'm sure you could, Rebecca. Um, I guess it's upside down. Everything is. Has it got big teeth? Yes, Rebecca. Oh. It's a dinosaur. Oh, a dinosaur? A dinosaur with his favourite strawberry-flavoured ice cream. Oh, I didn't know dinosaurs Dinosaurs eat, eat, eat strawberry ice cream. That's lovely, ice cream. That's mm. lovely Mr All Squiggle. All the time. <laughs> Rebecca. Do you hear what I hear? Yes, it sounds like someone's tummy's rumbling. That's right. It's doormat, and that means it's afternoon tea time. Oh, Rebecca, I must go. I must go. Oh. Goodbye. Bye, Goodbye. Mr Squiggle. Bye. Bye. Well, I guess I better see how Gus is getting on with his spaghetti bolognese. Hmm, I'm a bit hungry too. <laughs>